Washington. Now let's go to this issue that's here in Ohio for voting on the Constitution. Why are pastors, including this one in this church, encouraging you to vote yes? It's to vote yes because what it's doing is shifting the Ohio Constitution so that it requires 60 to change instead of a majority, a simple majority of 51. Why is that important? Because in the instance, first of all, in this country, it takes 60 in the Senate to overthrow something, right? So it's not like it's something new. 38 states already have 60. We're one of those that doesn't. Why is it? Because it doesn't want the status quo just randomly changed with an election. It wants the Constitution to be something that has teeth in it. That's from a political science view. But from our view also is the fact that those that are behind changing it are the ones that are pro-abortion. And they want to change it because they believe they'll have a better chance of getting a simple majority of 51 to vote down any legislation to preserve the unborn life. That's what's behind us. That's why they've had millions and millions of dollars thrown into the state of Ohio. Not because the liberals in Hollywood care about Ohio. Because it's coming from the pit of hell to end up trying to undo what the Supreme Court was trying to do, and that's to put it back in the, in the call of the states and to allow those that are in election that have been elected to make those decisions. So we encourage you to vote yes. Now, typically on this kind of an election, people don't go out. There's nothing else you're voting on except that. So you can still get there. You, you know, it's not too late. I encourage you to either vote now or go there and vote then, but vote, your vote might be the difference. And we've prayed and prayed and we've, we, we've, we've cried before the Lord. We've been at this, the, the steps of the Supreme Court and held prayer vigils. We've done all those things. Wouldn't it be a shame if we just couldn't get out of bed or make time on election day to go vote to maintain that? So yes, am I sort of being a little tough on you? I am. You need to go vote. And you need to vote yes. And if you say, I'm not registered yet, you could still do that. Shame on you. You need to get registered anyway. You need to have a voice in what's going on here. Don't be lazy. Be active in what you do. Amen? And don't tell me you're too busy. We're all busy. <laughs> all right? We're all busy. We're busy about the things of the Lord. You will be able to make time if you want to make time. And you could also go to the Board of Elections and vote now. You can go right down there and get an absentee ballot and vote right now. Right there. So do it, and I am encouraging you to do it, and I pray that pulpits all over the state of Ohio are encouraging people to do it because we need to be proactive Christians in our faith. Amen? It's, it's good to pray, but it's good to pray and do. When you have the chance to do with your prayer, we better do, or then why are we praying? I'm going to pray that you go and I don't, right? Let's go. Amen? And, and, and fill those ballot boxes. 